Hi guys, this is the look that I'm doing today. It's very October, very fall. Um, I think I'm going to call it candy corn because that's what it ended up looking like. Um, it originally was supposed to be a an attempt at a recreation um, of Lorelei Cakes. That's her name on Instagram. Her name is Laura. Um, but it's a recreation of that. If you can see that, she is an amazing MAC makeup artist, so talented. She's like my favorite person on Instagram. So anyways, this was supposed to be a recreation of that, but it doesn't really look anything like that, so I think I'm going to call it candy corn. So if you want to see how to get this look, just keep watching. What I did was I already primed my eyelid with the Bare Minerals Prime Time Primer, and then I'm going into Chrome Yellow, which I just got Chrome Yellow. I've been waiting to get it forever, so I was so excited to get it. And just a flat, synthetic, like, concealer brush. I'm going to go all in this front half of my eye. This color has a lot of fallout. Sorry if you can hear my kids yelling, no, at their dad. Good times, huh? I'm also going to do it right along here, just in the very corner. Because in hers, it looks like the colors sort of mirror each other. So where it's yellow up here, it's yellow down here. Where it's orange up here, it's orange down here. You get the idea. And I go in a couple. I, I went in a couple times with that yellow to get a very bright, bright pigmentation. This color's pretty pigmented. Looking at hers, I probably should have put a white base down where the yellow was gonna go. It would have made it pop even more. Okay. And I'm just gonna go in with a clean, fluffy blending brush. This is a Sigma E25. Just kind of blend out those edges. Okay. And then a little smudger brush. I'm going to go in with the color Embark. It's a very dark matte brown. And I'm going to do that in the outer V. And I kind of stamp it at first because I found with these little smudger brushes, if I do brush strokes, I get little, what's the word I'm looking for? Like brush tracks, like where the brush kind of skips. And those are really hard to blend out, so I just kind of stamp where I want it to go. And then another blending brush. This is the MAC 217. Blend that out. My kids are laughing out there. Better than screaming no, that's for sure. I like laughs much better. Oh my god, I need a bigger mirror. Screaming out there. <gasps> okay, now I'm gonna go in with this orange color, and this is out of a NARS duo, the Mediterranean, Mediterranean, however you pronounce it. So it has a really pretty orange and a really pretty kind of champagne color. I'm just going to use the orange out of there on my 217. Very 
lightly and precisely at first. I'm just going to kind of map out where I want that orange to go. Rub off the excess and then blend it. And then I'm going to blend out that orange a little bit with Soft Brown by MAC, which, hold on, let me get it out of my palette. Looks like that. Soft Brown is like a staple. Should be a staple in everybody's makeup collection. It's one of my favorite blending colors out there. So just at the very top of that orange, I'm going to use that Soft Brown to blend it out a little bit more. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with a little bit of a fluffier smudge brush. This is from Bobbi Brown. It's the Ice Smudge Brush. And the color Nylon. One of my favorites for the inner corner. Looks like that. I'm going to put that... She has it pretty heavy in this inner corner, in her tear duct area. So she blends it up and inward even a little towards the other colors. Wipe that same brush off really well, and I'm going to go in with Mylar, which is just a matte, very light cream color. I use this a lot to highlight my upper brow bone. Looks like her highlight's very matte, so I'm going to use that just under the eyebrow. And I need to wax my eyebrows as usual. And blend it out a little bit down into that orange. Okay, now I want to mirror the orange and brown underneath my eye. And I'm going to use a teeny, teeny, tiny brush. Not that one. Uh, the MAC 228. Very small. It looks like that. And I'm going to use the orange first. And just run it along the bottom over blend it a little bit into that yellow and then a little bit of them embark the dark brown same one we used in the outer V okie doke now eyeliner time eyeliner is very important in her looks because her eyeliner is always so perfect, so I'm not even going to try to get as perfect as her, because it won't happen. Um, I don't know if you can see, but look how perfect it is in that. You probably can't even see that. Go to her Instagram and just look. She's got mad skills. Okay, so I'm going to use liquid. I think she usually uses black track. Um, but my black track, I need a new one, mine's a little dried out, so I'm going to use um, liquid liner. This is the L'Oreal Carbon Black Liner Intense. Looks like that. And line away. I hear a little person outside my door. Hi, Bubba! So I had to go back and even up this one because with a liquid eyeliner especially, if one wing starts to look different and there's no turning back, I had to make this a lot longer than I wanted. So then I had to go back and fix this one and make it a little bit longer. So they matched. I'm going to take a black, just pencil eyeliner. This is from NYX, a super cheap one. And I'm going to line the upper waterline, which is right underneath here. Why is it pain? It feels funny. And you'll probably poke yourself in the eye. I always do. Sorry. And I'm also.
also going to line very close to the bottom lash line. Kind of wiggle it in between your bottom eyelash hairs. And I'm not going all the way into that yellow. I'm stopping where the orange and brown stop down at the bottom. Then I'm also going to line the bottom waterline. Okay. And I'm going to go back in with that teeny tiny little brush that I used for the bottom. And... I'm going to go back in with a little bit more orange. And then a little of the soft brown. And I'm going to use that to smudge out this bottom liner. Wipe it off really good. A little bit more orange. I'm going to bring the orange a little bit lower. So you can really see it underneath that black. And a little bit more on bark. Okay, yeah. I mean, pretty colors, just doesn't look anything like hers. I tried. Oh, I tried. So I did my eyebrows and put on mascara and finished the rest of my face. Uh, foundation and bronzer and a little blush. I'll show you really fast just what I did for those. Eyelashes. Um, I did two different kinds on top because I have very sad short eyelashes, so I like to mix it up and use two different ones. So I used uh, the Revlon Grow Luscious Plumping Mascara, two coats of that on each eye, and then two coats of the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, and then of course my Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara on the bottom. I use that every day. And then I used my MAC Soft Sand Bronzer. My foundation was the Revlon Color Stay Whipped, and I'm color 200 Sand Beige. For eyebrows, I used my Anastasia Brow Wiz and a little bit of blush. I didn't want to do a pinky blush or a peachy blush because I have so much orange going on with the eyes. So I just did a very neutral, sort of reminds me of Harmony, which is one of my all-time favorites. It's one of the pro longwear blushes from MAC. It's called Baby Don't Go. And it looks like that. It's really, really pretty. Just a soft kind of pinky brown. I don't know. You can also use it as a bronzer. But anyways... Um, and then I'm also going to do just a shiny kind of nude lip. And this is from the Hey Sailor collection from MAC. It's always so hard to read. The color is orange tempera. tempera. It's hard to see in that kind of... But it's just like a sort of a peachy nude color. And that is it. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to call this. It's really looking like candy corn to me. So I think that's what the title of this video is going to be. And then I need to do a shout out to Laura Like Cakes, of course, because it was supposed to be a recreation of hers, but it doesn't do it any justice. Um, I will put all of her information down below because you guys need to follow her. And she just started a YouTube um, channel too. She only has like three or four videos up. I'm hoping she puts up more because she's amazing. Um, so anyways, that's the finished look. Hope you guys like it and thanks so much for watching. Bye.